Hey, Bristol Middle School, time for some more math. Our learning target today is, what is the unit rate? We're gonna be talking about constant speed today. So three riders try out for one spot on a bike team with different coaches for different distances with different times. What factors should the coaches consider when picking a rider? Which rider should they pick? Justify your choice. Here's that information. Take a little bit to think about it. See if you can figure out which rider they should pick, rider one, rider two, or rider three. The first thing we're gonna do is split up this table a little bit. Gonna add some space and add some more rows. And you notice that we put in here the time per mile. So that's kind of the factor that we're gonna use to figure it out. How fast does each rider ride per mile? There's our unit rate rate per mile. So if we go from five to one, we divide by five. If we go from six to one, we divide by six. And if we go from eight to one, we divide by eight. So let's take a look. When we divide both of these by five, we get four. That's four minutes per mile. Rider two, we're gonna divide both of these by five and we're gonna get five minutes per mile. And on rider three, we're gonna divide both of those by eight. So we're gonna get five minutes per mile. So which rider should we pick? Rider one. So here's our key concept, and this is an equation. We haven't really studied this much this year, and it can be kind of confusing at times. The equation is D equals RT, or D is R times T we express the relationship between distance, speed, and time. What we've been doing is we've been using tables to say these same things. So I gave you an example. So here's a distance, which is 180 miles for three hours. An equivalent ratio to that is gonna be 60 miles per hour because three divided by three is one and 180 divided by three is 60. When we look at that rate and we look at this equation, we can see that the rate is 180 divided by three and that equals 60. So using the formula, we can see that 180 equals 60 times three. But again, that can be really confusing at this stage in the game. So let's stick with what we know. We know that three hours to one hour and 180 to 60, we're gonna use the same change here, whether it's getting bigger or smaller and by how much. This time it's getting smaller, so we're gonna use division and we're gonna divide by three on both of these. The table shows how to find the unit rate and matches what we've already learned about ratios. All right, we're going into part one. So finding distance is driven for a fixed time at constant speeds. Your ant drives at a constant speed of 45 miles per hour. How far will your ant drive in 20 minutes? And here we go. The first thing that they throw at us is using that equation. But you know what? We're just going to say no. We're not going to use the equation. Ooh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to throw a table up in here. So our distance is 45 miles per hour, which means it's one hour. So another thing that we need to know is how many minutes that is, because it says, how far will your aunt travel in 20 minutes or your aunt? Because my kids call me, my nieces call me auntie. So how far will your aunt or aunt travel in 20 minutes? Well, one hour equals 60 minutes, which is still going to be 45 miles. But what we need to figure out is this relationship here, right? We're going to do the same thing to both sides. Well, we need to know it's got to be 20 minutes. How many miles in 20 minutes? Well, when we look at that relationship between 60 and 20, it's getting smaller which is division, we're going to divide both sides by three and 45 miles divided by three is 15 miles. So your aunt's going to travel 15 miles in 20 minutes. Lisa, oh, hey, they made this one about me. Lisa bikes at a constant speed of eight miles per hour. If she bikes for 30 minutes, how far does she travel? So we look at our choices, 240 miles, 120 miles, eight miles and four miles. 
The first thing we're gonna start is by putting a table up. So it's eight miles in one hour and she bikes for 30 minutes. Is there any guesses so far? Take a moment and think about it. If she goes eight miles in one hour, how far does she go in 30 minutes? Well, we need to think about that one hour equals 60 minutes. So if she goes eight miles in 60 minutes, is she gonna go 240 miles in 30 minutes? Is she gonna go 120 miles in 30 minutes? How about eight miles in 30 minutes? Our table tells us she goes eight miles in 60 minutes. So we look again at what's gonna happen. We're gonna do the same thing to figure this out, right? We're going from 60 minutes to 30 minutes. It's getting smaller. We're using division. We're gonna divide both sides by two and eight divided by two is four miles. The correct answer is four miles. But you see how just thinking about the problem and kind of talking it through in our own head helped us probably figure that out before we even did this table on the math. All right, let's take another look at another part two problem. An airplane is flying from Boston, Massachusetts to San Francisco, California. What is the speed of airplane in miles per hour? Use the, oh my goodness, they did it again. Use the equation D equals RT. Nope, not gonna do that. You do not have to use that equation at all. So we have a little map here. And the map says we're flying from Boston, to San Francisco. What's the speed of the airplane in miles per hour? And they gave us a table, the time and the amount of miles flown. Okay, well, I'm gonna make that table a little bit bigger and extend it for you. So we have our time, which was 6.5 hours, and miles flown, which is 2,704 miles. So taking a look, we have to think about what it's saying, okay? We have this relationship. We're gonna use do the same thing to both sides, but we need to figure out per hour. Per means one. So for one hour. So if I go from 6.5 to one, is it getting bigger or smaller? It's getting smaller. So is it division or multiplication? Division divided by what? 6.5, 2,704, using a calculator, divided by 6.5 is going to be 416 miles per hour. Next part two problem. A bus travels 70 miles in two hours. What is the speed of bus in miles per hour? Look, they did that again. They threw that equation. Do you have to use the equation? You better be saying in your head, no, you do not have to use that equation. Okay, but what I do want you to do is make a table. You should have this in your notes for sure. Distance and time. So the bus travels 70 miles in two hours. What is the speed of the bus in miles per hour? Okay, if it goes 70 miles in two hours, we think about that relationship. How far does it go per hour? Okay, how far is it going to go per hour? Do we think it's going to go 140? Is it going to be 70 miles per hour? That's what that little backslash means. Is it going to be 35? Is it going to be seven? Let's think about this relationship. Two hours to one hour, bigger, smaller, smaller, multiplication or division, division divided by what? Two. We divide both of our ratios by two, both terms in our ratio, and 70 divided by two is going to be 35 miles. So it's going to be 35 miles per hour. Part three. On a busy road, cars can only travel five miles in 10 minutes. At this speed, how far will a car travel in 15 minutes? At this speed, how long will it take a car to travel? 20 miles. Okay, so... Let's send our car on its way. Woo, see it's moving pretty slow. Pop our table in. Distance that we're given is five miles in 10 minutes. We need to find a rate that we can use to figure out the 15 minutes and the 20 miles. 
So we're going to have to find something that's going to be easy to use with those. So I think about 10 minutes and 15 minutes. And the first number that pops in my head is five. I know that five goes into both 10 and 15. So that's the number I'm going to use. And I know that 10 divided by two is going to be five. So I'm going to divide both of these by two. Gets a little bit hairy right here because five divided by two is 2.5, but that's not too bad. You guys are in sixth grade. You can handle it. All right, going on. Now we have to get to 15 minutes and we have to get to 20 miles, right? It's important to read those correctly because miles, 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 minutes, 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 right? Make sure you're keeping track of that, paying attention. So if I'm going and I'm doing this, I have five minutes to 15 minutes. I have to do the same thing that to 2.5, okay? Five to 15, bigger or smaller, it's getting bigger. Five, uh, Five multiplication or division, sorry, it's multiplication. Five times what is 15? Five times three is 15. 2.5 times three, using our calculator if we need to, is 7.5 miles. Now, you could go from 7.5 to 20, but that doesn't make very much sense. You could go from five to 20. That would work too. I chose to go from the five and the 2.5 just because I know that those relationships can be done. Okay, and we're going to look at it. So 2.5 to 20, how am I going to figure out that relationship? Okay, boom, I use my calculator and I get 20 divided by 2.5 equals 8. That's a fact, family friends. You learned about fact families in third grade. Okay, 20 divided by 2.5 equals 8. So 2.5 times 8 is going to be 20. So if I did five times eight, that's going to be 40. So it's going to take 40 minutes for this car to go 20 miles. That is an insanely long time, just in case you didn't know. On an even busier road, your friend's mother drives 12 miles in 36 minutes. Oh my goodness, it's so slow. At this speed, how long does it take your friend's mother to drive two miles? We put our table up. 12 miles takes 36 minutes, but we want to know how long it takes to do two miles. So we think about the relationship, we pop that two miles in, okay? 12 to two, bigger or smaller? Smaller. Multiplication or division? Division. 12 divided by what equals two? 12 divided by six. And we do the same thing to the 36. 36 divided by six is six minutes. So it takes six minutes to drive two miles. Hey, okay, here's our exit ticket problem. You're gonna need some help on this one, right? So make sure that you are thinking this through. Your friends plan to bike to school. Your friend, sorry. Your friend bikes at a constant speed of nine miles per hour and lives six miles from school. If your friend leaves home 35 minutes before school starts, will your friend make it to school on time? You're gonna complete this one in your notes. Hint though, giving you a hint this time. Use the table. So you have to think of a few things. You have nine miles per hour, okay? They're leaving home 35 minutes, so you're gonna have to convert it to minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. Then you're gonna have to find a nice number that goes into 35. Oh my goodness, so you're gonna have to think through this a little bit. So if it's gonna be nine miles in 60 minutes, maybe use something like five and take that number and then you're going to figure out how do you get, oops, sorry, to the six miles. All right. In summary, time and distance are used together often to find rates and unit rates. We see this a lot in miles per hour. Ask your parents. They know exactly all about that kind of stuff. How long it takes to get somewhere. How many miles per hour you should drive. How long it takes to get across town. We think about this a lot. Until next time, keep practicing because practice makes permanent.